How to create cartoon beer. Oval shape a little bit bigger. Select all the eye objects. Press Command G group it all. Hold the option key duplicate it. Select the eyes. Adjust the size. Adjust the position. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Hold option key duplicate and put it here. Select these two ovals. Move here. Go to Pathfinder panel, click Unite.
strobe. Create different size circle to make a beer foam like this. Select all. Press Command G group it all. Move here. Adjust the size bigger. Adjust the position. Use direct selection tool. Adjust the size and position. Like this. All right, use selection tool, hold option key do Alright, use selection tool, go to object click on lock all, select this shade, go to color panel, change color to white, then adjust the stroke size of the each semi curve. Alright. Hold the option key duplicate this shape. Adjust the All right. Select all the objects of the beer foam. Adjust the size, angle and position. All right. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Use pen tool. Create a shape like this. All right, use selection tool, select these two shapes, go to pathfinder panel and click unite, adjust the size smaller, 
Rotate the angle. Adjust the size and position. Alright. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Change color to orange. Use selection tool. Rotate the angle. Adjust the size and position. Hold the shift key. Select this shape. Use shape builder tool. Hold the option key delete this one. Use selection tool. Select this shape. Hold the option key duplicate it. Duplicate one more. Select these two shapes. Use shape builder tool. Hold option key delete these area. Hold the shift key. Select this shape. Then delete these objects. Move this object to here. Change color to black. Adjust the position. Alright. Duplicate this shape again. Use pen tool. Add anchor point here. And here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Same action here. And here. Swap fill and stroke. Change the stroke color to black. Go to brushes panel. Select the new brushes. Use pen tool. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Same action here. Move this line to here. Use pen tool. Draw a line like this. Press return or escape key to start to draw a new line. Alright. Select these two lines. Select the new brushes. Select this stroke. Change the weight to two points. Use pen tool. Create one more stroke here. Press return or escape key to make a line break. Select the new brushes. Select this stroke. Change the weight to 1.5 points. Alright. Use rounded rectangle tool. Create a rectangle. Use selection tool. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Press command D. Duplicate it. Select these two shapes. Move a little bit downward. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Like this. Adjust the size. Alright. Select all. Change the stroke color to none. Change color to gray. Adjust the size and position. Select this shape. Adjust the size and position. Hold the shift key. Select these three shapes. Use shape builder tool. Hold the option key delete this one. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Adjust the size, angle and position. Like this. Alright, select these objects. Press Command G group it all. Delete the oval. Create again. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Adjust the size. Move a little bit upward. Select all. Go to align panel click horizontal align center. Hold the option key duplicate it. Go to pathfinder panel and click unite. Click the default fill and stroke. Go to brushes panel. Select the new brushes. Use ellipse tool to make a perfect circle. Use pen tool. Add anchor point here. And here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Add anchor point.
Use selection tool. Hold the option key duplicate the curved line. Adjust the size and position. All right. Select these two strokes. Select the new brushes. Change the weight to 0.5 points. Select this strobe. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Use pen tool. Add anchor point here. And here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Same action here. 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 And here. Use selection tool. Right click select transform then click reflect. Click horizontal. OK. Move here. Adjust the size smaller. Change the weight to 0.5 points. Adjust the size, angle and position. Use pen tool. Draw a line like this. Press return or escape key to make a line break. Use selection tool. Change the weight to 1 point. Hold the option key. Duplicate it. Press command D. Duplicate one more. Adjust the size and position. Like this. Use rotate tool. Adjust the angle. All right. Select this shape. Go to object click expand appearance. Select this one. Go to object click expand appearance. Go to object click expand. Right click then select on graph. Select these two black shapes. Use shape builder tool. Hold the option key delete this one. Select all. Press command G group it all. Move the hand to here. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Go to object click expand appearance. Go to object click expand. Unclick fill. OK. Go to effect select distort and transform. Click free distort. Adjust the shape like this. OK. Go to object click expand appearance. Use rectangle tool. Create a rectangle. Click the default fill and stroke. Swap fill and stroke. Change the stroke color to none. Use selection tool. Hold the option key. Duplicate this one. Move here. Select this groove. Rotate the angle. Adjust the size smaller. Select the black rectangle. Use pen tool. Hold the option key. Drag and change the line to be curved. All right. Adjust the size. Rotate the angle. Adjust the position. Keep to adjust the size and position what you like. Perfect. Select this groove. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Rotate the angle. Press Command Shift G on drop. Delete these objects. Select all. Move here. Hold the option key. Duplicate this one. Rotate the angle. Move here. Select all the objects of the hand. Press Command G group it all. Adjust the position. Select all. Move upward. Select this groove. Press Command Shift G on drop. Delete this object. Select this white object. Duplicate it. Move back here. Swap fill and stroke. Change color to black. Select the new brushes. 
go to the stroke panel. Change the weight to 1.5 points. Select this groove. Press Command Shift G on Drop. Delete this object. Select this white object. Duplicate it. Swap fill and stroke. Change color to black. Select the new brushes. Go to the stroke panel. Change the weight to 2 points. Move back here. Then adjust the stroke size of these curved lines. Perfect. Use rectangle tool. Create a rectangle. Swap fill and stroke. Change color to gray. Use direct selection tool. Select these two anchor points. Drag the light corner point to the center. Use ellipse tool. Create a circle. Select this shape. Adjust the size. Select the circle. Move here. Adjust the size. Use pen tool. Hold the option key. Drag and change the line to be curved. Use ellipse tool to make an oval. Adjust the oval and circle size. Like this. Alright, use ellipse tool, create a small circle. Use selection tool, adjust the position. Select these two shapes. Use shape builder tool. Hold option key delete these area. Use pen tool. Hold the option key, drag this line again. Alright, use selection tool, adjust the size. Adjust the oval position. Adjust the size smaller. Press Command Y. Make sure the anchor point tap to the oval. Alright. Press Command Y back to normal. Select these two shapes. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Select these two shapes. Go to Pathfinder panel and click Unite. Select all these objects. Click Default Fill and Stroke Color. Select the new brushes. Duplicate this oval. Move here. Use pen tool. Add anchor point here. And here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Same action here. Add anchor point here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Alright. Use eyedropper tool. Click here. Change the fill color to none. Select the new brushes. Adjust the size. Go to the stroke panel. Change the weight to one point. Select this black object. Hold the option key duplicate and put here. Rotate the angle. Move here. Select these objects. Send to back. Move upward. Select this black object. Adjust the size and position. Alright. Select these objects. Move here. Rotate the angle. Adjust the position. I want to adjust this line shape. Use pen tool. Hold option key drag this line. Not good. Add anchor point here. Click this anchor point and press delete key. Same action here. Draw a line like this. Perfect. Draw the other line here. Press return or escape key to make a line break. Select the new brushes. Adjust the position. Select this black object. Use direct selection tool. Click this anchor point. Move here. And click this anchor point. Move here. Select this shape. Change the fill color to none. Adjust the position. Select all the leg objects. Rotate the angle. Select all the shoe objects. Adjust the size smaller. Adjust the position. Alright. Select this one. Change the weight to two points. Select this one. Change the weight to two points. The leg is too thin. Use pen tool. Hold the option key. Drag the line like this. Alright. 
Select all these objects. Adjust the size smaller. Move a little bit downward. Select these two shapes. Adjust the size. Position. Select all these objects. Hold the option key duplicate it. Send to back. Rotate the angle. Adjust these four black strokes position. All right. Delete these objects. Go to the layer panel. Create a new layer. Change the name. Move the background layer to the bottom. Lock the layer 1. Use rectangle tool. Create a square. Change color to yellow. Press Command C then Command F. Copy and paste the yellow square. Use selection tool. Go to gradient panel. Select black white gradient. Go to effect select pixel again click color half tone. Follow this setting. Click then select on Grab. Select this white square. Delete it. Select the yellow shapes. Press Command to lock the object. Select any black circle. Go to Select then choose Same Click Fill Color. Press Command G Group it all. Press Command A Select all. Hold the Shift key. Select the black group. Then delete all the white objects. Select the black group. Change color to orange. Go to Transparency Panel. Change Opacity to 45%. Go to the Layer Panel. Lock the Background Layer. Unlock Layer 1. Select all these objects. Press Command G Group it all. Use Ellipse Tool. Create a circle. Change color to white. Change Opacity to 45%. Create different size circle, like this. Alright, select all the white circles. Press Command G group it all. Change opacity to 45%. Select all. Move here. Use type tool. Enter Go Beer. Adjust the size bigger. Change the font character to Arial Black. Go to Character Panel. Adjust the text leading. Move here. Adjust this size again. Finally I change the font size to 85 point. Alright we already have a cartoon beer. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another video.